Mohammed, you ruined the house. No, it's just one bite. No, you have to give us the hadith first. Okay. The Prophet says, Al Fajr al Rajil, Rahmatullah Ta'ala, Agrabu Minha, Min al Abid al Muganab. A person who's made mistakes, who has committed sin even, but has kept their hope in God's mercy, is closer to God's mercy than a worshipper who's lost their hope. Very important information here. What brings God's mercy to our life is how much open we are to God's mercy, how much hope we have, not just our actions. Indeed, our actions are there to create that hope inside us. Now, you may be saying, well, I don't have this hope. I'm full of despair. And you have a very good point. It's not easy to just wish hope in our life. What can we do? Well, one thing we could do is that there's a line in our salah that we often overlook. What does it mean? Why do we say it? Verse 56 of Surah Hajj says that, وَمَنْ يَقْنَتْ مِنْ رَحْمَةَ رَبِّهِ إِلَّا الظَّالُونَ one of the main features of Zalun is that they lose their hope. They lose their hope in God's mercy. So God knew how difficult life is, how easy we can lose our hope. So he put this line in our Salah so that every day we ask him for hope. So next time you say, Say it mindfully. Know that you are asking God for hope. And then it will have the power to make some changes in our life.